Now recently I tested a new set of irons and they looked, well they looked a bit different to say the least, but they did in perform incredibly well. They are however not designed for me in theory and they're designed for people with maybe a slightly slower swing speed. So today's testing is not going to be done by me and we've got a special guest on the channel. Enjoyed it in the van? Lovely, First fantastic. trip in the van as well? Yeah, fantastic. Decent made a, great, made a great job of it. Yeah. Uh, tea could have done with a little bit more sugar. <laughs> you see, I can't get any confidence. I'm over in that bloody bunker over there. <laughs> oh well. You'll see it on I the green. You can sell you the good set of clubs. Nice shot. Great shot. Very good. You know, well, that's absolutely brilliant. That was very good, wasn't it? Lovely. Great shot. Another great shot. What are you looking around for? Applause. <laughs> 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 nice shot. That's not a bad one out of the van, is it? No. Very good. Do you know what's odd with it? I, did you not find the... Um, well, I noticed it there. Do you not find the sound? Yeah, yeah. Weird. I know what you said about that the other day, but it doesn't, it's not a thing that really bothers me. See, a 7 iron chip and runs a bit of a feel shot. Yeah. There's an argument that those type of clubs wouldn't have a great field, so it's just for you, just to bear in mind, when you're trying all these shots, they're the things that we're really looking to consider, do you know what I mean, at the moment. All the, all the things I'd like to understand is whereby the argument would be, for that 7-iron, for example, they're a bit too clumbersome, do you know what I mean, as in yeah. bulky, compared to your you know, you, you, where everybody knows an iron, yeah. and therefore you might be, you know, like you said, clumsy, it might be a little bit, uh, the, the kind of feel goes, and you kind of, well, that's what I want to know from you, really. Right. And how did that feel? Oh, it felt, honestly, it felt great. Yeah? You know, it didn't feel as if I was going to And you're not put off by the size no. of the club? No, no. No? No, I was, I'm, I'm very surprised that I've took to it so well. Great shot. Very good. Nice shot. A shot. Super shot. Well played. Nicely played. Super shot. Better one there. Very good, yeah. Fantastic. What a shot that is. What a shot! Get up! Great shot. Well, it's fair to say that Sid's performance is pretty impressive this morning, and uh, the irons that he has in the bag, which is the most interesting bit of this video for me, is the PXG 0211Z irons that you can see in front of me on the table. Now, I tested these just a few weeks ago, and I've got to say I was really, really impressed. But the argument was that these clubs were perhaps not designed for me, higher handicap golfer, perhaps with a slightly slower swing speed. So when the opportunity arose to get a set of left-handed clubs on loan for Sid to try, we couldn't pass up on this one. And for what I've seen so far, they're doing exactly what they're designed to do. They're making the game just that little bit easier. And certainly from what I'm seeing from Sid so far, he's plenty happy enough playing these game. In fact, he's loving them. And uh, good luck, PXG, on getting these back from him. They seem to be traveling well, further than they sound like you've hit them, do you know what I mean? It's that yes. dull sound off the hybrid, the fairway and the driver that they sound like you're having it a great shot, but they do seem to be travelling, don't they? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt, they are going. And what was the other, the other thing I was going to say? What, was you, what did you say before you? We were coming over the thing and I forgot to ask you. You said there's an old saying. What is it? What was I the said to Hannah, there's an old saying in life, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. And looking at these irons, mm -hmm. Are definitely one of them related to one of them when yeah, you look yeah. at them 
but when you play them, it's a different different ball game. Mm. I love them. The irons sound far better than what the fairway woods do. The irons sound, you know, they don't sound good. Yeah. Whereas the woods, like I said, are, uh, sound very hollow, even though it hasn't affected the performance. Well, I'm interested in it again. I mean, I know that you've played fairly straight anyway, but we're hitting the balls down the or you're hitting the balls down the middle, isn't it? Well, that's what I said to you before. You know, I am more consistent down the middle than I was with my other clubs. Very good. And again, when you're doing that, you know, you, you get more confident with your other shots. Yeah. Nice shot. That's a great shot. Well played. Super shot. Super shot. Very good again. Great shot. Another great shot. What are you looking round for? Applause? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jesus. No. Every time he hits a shot, he looks back for <laughs> applause. Oh, so chuffed with him. No, to be honest with you, I'm really impressed with the... Uh, I know we haven't done much with the, with the driver or the um, hybrids or whatever, but the, your iron play has been very, very good. <clears throat> Like I said, the only, the only kind of thing that I would, the logic I would apply to whenever we do the reviews is that yeah. for a golfer like yourself, because the idea is it's a slightly slower swing speed, and, and, but that bulk and mass is, is helping you massively. Without a doubt. And then coupled with, the other thing to remember is you've got a lightweight graphite shaft, which was just up there a sec. Mm. And the lightweight graphite shaft was, you know when you got fitted for your Ping G410 driver? Yeah. Well, you went back to a 40 gram distanza shaft. Yeah. And it made a massive difference. That's right. Well, these are all through the bag, right. are all again a lightweight shaft, including the irons. And when you're current G30 irons, you've still got a fairly heavy, and it could even be, certainly a reg, it could even be a stiff flex in your irons. Right. And I think that's majorly playing against you, and that's what's helping. So you've got two things you've got the different shaft, yeah. and I think you've got a bit of mass in that head which is helping the ball because again the ball flight in every iron you've hit it's, it has been we've got to be careful you see because when the camera's on people people get they question your integrity and they think you're telling lies yeah, but I mean, yeah. they do yeah. honestly but i mean wow. we've seen the ball this morning it's been performed very well for you hasn't it it's true without a doubt without a doubt super shot well played just managed to hit them Great shot. What a shot. Hey. I'll tell you what, I'm a good caddy as well. <laughs> yeah. And that's what you're getting Great paid shot. for. <laughs> the yeah. difference, the the difference in your iron play has been the ball flight on your irons is the biggest thing for me. It's so, so different. Yeah. When you keep knocking them down the middle of my handicap, it's unbelievable. Consistently down the middle, builds you up with confidence. Yeah. And uh, you can't wait to hit the next ball, to be honest with you. Yeah. Good. It, so, yeah, I love them. Richie, I can't get any confidence. I'm over in that bloody bunker over there. <laughs> Oh well. Yeah, see it on I the can, green. I can sell you the good set of clubs. Oh, oh God. Right, so our testing is done at Wallasey Golf Club and um, I think hopefully, I haven't watched the video back yet, but hopefully you got the gist of things as we went around. It was fairly positive. Um, I mean, I don't know, and you were fairly positive. What would be your kind of assessment of them if you were to put it in a nutshell? Well, I just, I think for me personally, they improved my game just walking around this morning. I've never hit so 
consistently down the middle mm. of the fairway. Yeah. I've never done that with any irons I've played with before. Yeah, you think? And off a 22 handicapper, I think that's very, very good. Yeah, I mean, you did you did play well, and I think, like I said, from an irons perspective, it's probably the best I've seen you play with a set of irons. In terms of the woods, and it wasn't really about them, because the oddball in this equation is definitely the, the irons. They are the thing that's just that little bit different. With relation to the, the driver, fairway and hybrid, I'm not sure they really performed any different than what I've seen you perform with your own right. current yes. kit. Yes. Um, you'd have to do a bit more testing. We didn't hit a lot of shots. And the main focus of attention, like I said, was on the irons. But for me, what I've seen on the course, and we did a little bit of testing in the um, driving range last yeah. week, yeah. it was the ball flight that was the big deal. You, you hit the ball, you launched every iron very high. Don't forget the longest iron is only a six iron, mm -hmm. but they all launched incredibly uh, easily and without loss of distance so they performed really well on both uh, those levels so i think for me the summary would be this i did an initial test and i was really positive about them and as i said in the beginning of this video they're not necessarily designed for me i've now seen them in the hands of a 20 what is you 20 22 so in the hands of a 22 handicapper slightly slower swing speed and for me they still do an incredibly good job i'm really positive towards them still and the job that they're designed to do I think they definitely do. So we'll end it there. I would say stick your comments down below. Has anybody tried them yet? Because they're still very, very new in the UK at least anyway. Or have you tried this type of iron? Because it's about the style of iron. It's about that hybrid type iron. We did the T-rails a few weeks ago from Cobra, which essentially are the same kind of principle. Bit of bulk and mass, almost hybrid-like at address, and they give plenty of help. Uh, so, well, to all golfers, I've got to say to the type of golfer that needs it, but let's be honest, we all do. But overall, really positive thank you for watching we're all done breakfast is done enjoyed it in the van lovely first fantastic. trip in the van as well yeah fantastic decent made a, great, made a great job of it yeah. uh, tea could have done with a little bit more sugar <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> right we'll leave it there see you all soon